Today we'll take a look at how to configure a MySQL instance to be used within SnapLogic. To do that, we need to create a MySQL account in SnapLogic either via the designer or the manager. In the designer, in order to create the endpoint, all we need to do is drag and drop a specific uh, MySQL snap onto the canvas. And then the system is going to prompt you into selecting a pre-existing config pre-existing uh, account endpoint that's previously configured or you can select to create a new account. We'll be selecting the MySQL database account today. You'll be prompted with the create account screen with various fields populate. We'll go ahead and populate all these fields and we'll go over each field uh, together. Here I have all the values populated for our MySQL instance host uh, AWS RDS. You can see that this configuration enables you to connect to an instance either on-premise or in the cloud. You just have to be sure to select the correct Snapplex to execute the Snap against. We can either do it via a concept of a Cloudplex or a Groundplex. After you populate the host name, port number, and database name, which are credential uh, and require fields, the rest is pretty much self-explanatory. One thing to note here is that the JDBC driver class name should be kept default. SnapLogic will load a uh, universal MySQL JDBC driver into this view for you. If you want to use a specific version of the MySQL JDBC driver, feel free to click this um, drop down to add a new a reference to the, the custom jar file you want to use or the version specific jar file you, can, you want to use. Hit the select file icon in this field select the correct driver jar file or upload one of your choice and reference that jar file in this drop down list after your upload is completed if i scroll down a little more you can see we have uh, options to set various ssh credentials we can enable password uh, specific ssh uh, credential or key file or key phrase Doing so will allow you to, to perform SSH tunneling according to your uh, specific security needs. And finally, the advanced options are some of the generic JDBC driver options that enables you to set the batch sizes and fetch sizes, as well as set the pulse size and timeout limits. You can set additional URL property here via this um, uh, additional add-up box. You can actually set any key value pair here as you like. From here, all you gotta do is hit the validate button and the system's gonna go ahead and see if it can make a successful connection to that endpoint. And it'll give you that message here to indicate that the connection is indeed successful. So if you run into any issues, feel free to uh, contact SnapLogic support, uh, reference the documentation, or visit our community for some additional assistance. Thank you.